and I've had several meetings with several different people here. Everyone promised us that our kids would be safe on 105 in Churchill. Everyone promised us that we would not have incidents. Our kids have been robbed of their telephones on the buses. They have been robbed of their iPods, iTouches, and we, they have been jumped and beaten up. And now we, we've had two children in the hospital. Now it's one, one was released. We still have one. And I just want to know, what are you going to do now? I mean, don't keep telling us, giving us empty promises. We had police, Cleveland police, um, CMSD police out there today, but what's going to happen tomorrow? What's going to happen next week? Do we have to stay in this location? You, ha you should have been in our school today to see those children, the fear on their faces right. when they were leaving out of the school, running to the bus stops. Can't we walk the children to the bus stops today? And parents have to work, and we trust that when we send our kids to school that they will be safe. So I don't want a uh, We'll get back to you. We'll do what we can. That's I right. want to know, you know, what can we do to keep these children safe every single time it's every day? My son told me today when, when we got home from school, he said, Mom, I would rather be in a raggedy school than for my friend to be in a hospital. Yeah. Do you understand what I'm saying? So we need to keep these children safe, and I just want to know, what are you going to do? Not empty promises. Because I got that all summer long from every single solitary person that I met with in the school district, in the in a city council. I even had meetings at City Hall, and I just got empty promises. Even from my principal, empty mm, promises. That's right. I just want to know, what are you going to do every single solitary day for the next three years that they are there to keep them safe? Right, because if we lose our, exactly, if we pull our kids out, you won't meet your quotas at 8 a.m. a week, you won't get the funding you need for your $2 million auditorium or whatever it is. We don't want to pull our kids out. My, our kids don't want to go. They want to stay. I don't understand that, but they want to stay. Thank you for your concern.